So I'm chilling right now at home. I'm, I'm, I'm sleepy, but I'm not sleepy, right? And I'm like, dude, why am I restless, right? And as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, what's going on in my head? It's got to be mental. It's got to be something going on in my head. And then I realized something. I'm restless because of my ego. You see, there was a specific thought pattern that I started using to, um, for lack of a better word, to increase my energy boost and kind of increase my motivation, for lack of a better word. So think about the thought pattern as like, so for the most part, most people struggle with motivation, right? Majority of people are like, man, I can't get out of bed. I can't, you know, I get up and I'm like asking myself what's the meaning of life and all that stuff, right? And I'm just like... And I remember when I initially started, you know, sales and, and doing everything is I would reach a point of my ceiling, right? Because the thing is, you have a ceiling, right? The ceiling is basically what you've been conditioned to believe and what you've been conditioned to think that's what you're capable of, right? So I'd reach my ceiling, man. And when I mean I reach my ceiling, it's kind of like I would sell a lot one week and then I wouldn't sell anything next week, next week right? I'd just be like fuck man what's going on and i started realizing it's because my mental condition was i had never made that much money the week prior so when i made that much money the next week i had no motivation to work right because i had like i was full think about it as i had a, a a water bottle that was at its capacity right now what happens is when the water bottle is it's full oh i have a water bottle here but when the water bottle is full there's no need to keep pouring water in right wrong okay you see, your your internal need for accomplishment needs to come from a a definition rather or a a perception of of hunger, right? That's what I'm looking for. Hunger, right? Where you're never full, right? Because I was like, why is it that one week I was work I, I would I would work my ass off, I would put in 40, 60, 70, 80 hours a week, okay? Uh, I think my most was 90 something hours, right? I'll do that much and then the other week, I'm like, I don't want to do anything, right? And I was like, so I started realizing something. My bottle was full. So I needed to either pour a lot of water out. So I needed to pour all the water out so that I can have another empty cup. So what I started doing was I started whatever, whenever I made that money, I reinvested back in myself, I reinvested back in my team, I reinvested into more staff, whatever it is I needed, right? And as I started doing that, I started to kind of, notice the hunger would come again, right? Because you only become hungry for more when you have less, right? There's only a need to go get more when you have nothing, right? So I was like, okay, 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 okay. And then I was like, okay, how about I can keep the full water bottle and then create an illusion in my head that, okay, that water is full, but it's empty, so I can keep pouring in. This is when I realized ego. I've been reading a lot of books and books tell you, hey, man, your ego is bad, your ego is is you know what's gonna kill you you know you have your ego why do you have ego ego is not good and the reality is true the truth is your ego is not good in the sense is to if you feed your ego you will consistently keep going for more you'll never be satisfied but the truth is this if you want to be successful you have to use your ego in the sense is to you have to never be satisfied because if you're always satisfied if you're always full you will for lack of a better word you won't have any need to move you're going like a paralysis state, right? It's just be gonna be like, uh, no. Nah. So in, in reality and in, in retrospect, uh, I kind of want to think about it in the perspective as your ego is necessary for you to actually move. And the reason why I'm so, I'm not I'm sleepy, but I'm not sleepy is because in my mind I'm like I gotta go get more. I gotta go work for more. My ego is telling me it's like, hey, we're not there yet. Which brings me to the main key point as to how to get yourself in that hungry state. Just understand that once you get yourself in that state, just know that you will never be satisfied. Now, if you're willing to live with those terms of always being hungry, you're going to be motivated. You're going to freaking, I mean, you'll be, no one can stop you. Like, you'll be making, doing whatever it is that you got to do, regardless of the consequences, as many and as often as times as you need to, just because you, I mean, you're not giving up. If you want to do that, you're going to have to do a, 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 a process called state management, right? So state management, everyone has their own technique. But this is how I do it, is I visualize, right, what I want, okay, my goal. So I write down my goal, I see it, I see myself having it. And then I use this technique, I learned it from GC. I use this technique where I ask myself, who's got it? 
Okay, for instance, say, say I wanted to get more money, right? I need $55 million in my bank account, for instance, right? Example. I'm going to see myself having $55 million. I'm going to go, who's got my $55 million, right? Because I know at the end of the day, it's not a what problem or how problem. It's a who problem, right? It's who do I got to talk to? Okay, who's, who's got the resources and the knowledge that I need to be able to have that be equipped to provide that service with that amount of money that I need? Because the, the, the problem why most people, because I'm just a regular guy, man, I'm, I'm just like everybody else, right? But the reason why most people don't achieve success is because one, they don't have a target, two, they don't see themselves actually heading the target, and three, they never ask themselves, who's got the resources or the knowledge to help me achieve that goal? Right, because everybody thinks it's a how problem. The reality is, it is a how problem, but it's not a like people go. How do I how do I become a millionaire? The the, the reality is, it's the wrong question. It's not how do I become a millionaire. It's who knows who's made a million dollars or who's made the money that I can go learn from, right? It's a mentorship problem. It's like how do I get a mentor, right? So, I mean, I'm making this video for for whoever's gotta watch it because I really am making this video for myself because honestly, sometimes. The best motivation, the best way I can motivate myself is to actually listen to myself, right? And I'm going to watch this video back and I'm going to be like, yeah, bro, that's what you got to do. So to whoever's watching this, man, is you just got to ask yourself that one question is you is is. Am I hungry enough and how do I get hungry, right? Like if you made a million dollars, how do you go get made 10 million? Because most people, most people say this stuff, they go. Man, if I had made a million dollars, I never would have to work a day in my life again. And that's the biggest mistake because that's why the universe makes sure that you don't get a million dollars because they know that once you get it, you're not going to do anything with it. See, the thing is, I want to get the resources to be able to give the resources out. Okay? But first, you got to understand how do you get it. All right? And the first thing you got to understand is you got to be hungry, man. You got to be hungry. You got to be willing to go out there, do whatever you got to do to get that goal in, uh, that you want to achieve, right? Get a willing to go out there and accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish, right? But the main thing is it's not a how. It's not a how question. It's a who question, okay, um, to get yourself hungry. Now, the main thing is hunger is needed. If you're not hungry, you're not going to get fed. That's it. And if you're too fed, then get hungry again so you can go get fed again. That's it. A lot of people are going to say, man, why don't you ever say satisfied? Satisfaction comes before destruction. That's it. That's the truth. So if you're never satisfied, you always be alert. All right, ciao.